This uh, number five is Andy Darius. Now, Andy Darius is one of those guys. He's been around in the metal scene for quite some time now. He's been years now. Like, you know, he's just a really great vocalist. Andy Darius is have really good uh high pitched clean vocals and I dig it. He was in another band before uh Halloween called Pink Cream Sixty Nine and this man, you know, he was more on the, you know, love side and you know he was making love songs for the ladies and junk. But I mean he's still doing his thing and you know, I feel like if you want to find a great vocalist, you need to listen to Andy Darius. He's like the man, you know, he's a German singer, by the way. You couldn't really tell, but, you know, he's German, and he's really great. He's been doing this for quite some time, and I think he was a better replacement for uh, Michael Kiske, the original vocalist, but Andy Darius is one of the all-time greatest, and I think he's just about in his 40s and he's still going and you know a lot of people they just hang up well a lot of rock stars they don't like to hang up the uh, boots too early and I understand that and with Andy Darius I think he can go for as long as he can probably up to 60 or however but if he hung up the boots today Honestly, I wouldn't be, like, you know, disappointed. He's gave us everything he can possibly give us at this point, and I think that's just great. Number four is, well, more on the industrial side of uh, German music. Now, a lot of people might not know who this is, but if you don't, you need to get, you know, known with this next vocalist. So, he's more of a gothic he says he's more of a gothic metal singer and i would agree so he's from the german uh group uh project pitchfork and he's been in santa hates you but the great uh peter spills or spiles or spill is or however you pronounce the last name he's really a great vocalist and he's not worldwide known and he's not famous like you know all the other guys I'm about to talk about he's pretty underground to most people but his music has really inspired me like so much it's had a like huge impact on me like uh Peter is just such a great you know vocalist you can just feel the like energy when you listen to his music it's like you're just it's like when he just you know sings is like when he makes his music he tells a story and you feel like you're inside of the story that's how great he is and he's been in a lot of projects and he's always with the uh, lovely jinx a uh, beautiful looking woman uh peter spills he's going through somewhat of a transformation when he started off in project pitchfork started off with his boyish good looks and you know, it got the ladies and all that, and, you know, they liked that, and that's when his voice was a little lighter until he went through the, like, transformation or whatever to this deep, you know, badass, somewhat scary, well, I don't want to say scary, but a little, you know, deeper voice. Yeah, so he don't really sound the same, but been in a lot of groups, and he's a pioneer of it, and he's great. Next would be the great, well... Seth Cyril Anton. Now, Mr. Seth is from one of my favorite bands, Septic Flesh. And Septic Flesh is a really great band. If you don't know who Seth Cyril Anton is or you're not familiar with Septic Flesh, you've been living under a rock. If you listen to death metal, you had to come across this band just at least once. But it's a great band, and he's from a... Greece, Athens, he's 42, and he's a Greek heavy metal singer and the basis of the band Septic Flesh. He's been in Thou Art, another one of his side projects, and just like uh, Andy Darris and Peter Spills, he's been in a lot of other projects, and pretty much uh, Septic Flesh, their music has pretty much been on hold since 2014. I think they still do live stuff, 
but uh who knows we're just waiting it's 2016 now so we're waiting to see what they come out with next and just whenever they do you just be ready to hear more great songs from seth cyril Anton. by the way number two would be nate frost now if you're familiar with black metal I'm pretty sure you've seen Nate Frost holding a cross upside down before. And let me just tell you, Nate Frost is the man. Like, I think it's Nat Frost, but yeah, I think it's Nat Frost, but I said Nate Frost. Sorry about that. I want to butcher your name by mistake, but he is really just a great vocalist. And if you've heard his music, you'll be blown away. And like, honestly, you need to... You need to check him out. He's from one of my favorite black metal van, bands, Carpathian Forest. Nate Frost has had other side projects too, but what makes Nate Frost so good is the fact that he's in this, you know, giant band. Well, not giant, but he's in a band and he opens equal opportunity. And I like the thing I like about Carpathian, they're open, you know, open minded. They're okay. Uh, okay with like you know explicit you know imagery on stage they had a women naked so they're comfortable with it they don't mind nudity on some of their shows it might you know grow some people out but you know they give equal opportunity to women so i dig that and they bring back more of a classical somewhat jazz sound with their music and they they uh Nat Frost is just awesome. He is a really great vocalist. He just, he's badass, man. Like, his growls and everything. Like, he may be one of the greatest black metal vocalists of all time. And I want his band to make more music. Come out with something new, please. We are waiting. But until that time, like... He always says, fuck you all. That's his catchphrase. Last but not least, number one. Whether you like it or not, this is my favorite vocalist of all time. Shagrath. Shagrath is one of the most, I want to say, somewhat loved and hated at the same time. The reason why I want to say he's hated, because people don't understand metal these days. They think just because you change your sound, you're a poser, and you know, all this and that. And what kills me is people want to say Cradle of Filth is better than Demu. That honestly made me throw up when somebody said that. Shagraph is, I know I get in fangirl moment when I talk about him, but he's just one of the best in my opinion. He's been you know, owning his craft for years now, and I agree, he did change his style up, it was pretty raw, and I was more symphonic, but if Shagraph wasn't as good as I think he is, he wouldn't have been in all these different groups, people wouldn't beg for Demu to come back, and you know, I think some of the fans don't deserve it, because when Shagraph was doing his thing, a couple people bashed him, and then now, since Demu took a break, they want to be like, oh, Shagraph, where are you coming back, you know? And they said, Demu is nothing without Moostis and a Vortex, and I disagree. Shagraph has been in a lot of projects, featured in a lot of songs of Hell. One of the projects, he was the lead singer of the vocalist of Of Hell with King and, you know, all that uh chrome division he was the guitarist demu he was he's the vocalist so pretty much shagraph always has somewhat of a leading role in whatever you know group he was in besides chrome division but he's always been the spotlight the center of attention and you can't replace shagraph he knows what the fans want he knows what it takes to be a great vocalist he knows how to connect with you whether you like him or not, he knows what it takes. And a lot of people, a lot of these vocalists, they don't understand what we want. 
they do it for them. But Shagrath does it for the fans. He does it for himself. He does it because of his passion. And he doesn't care what you label him as. He doesn't care. And that's the main thing. This is the main reason I idolize Shagrath. Because whether or not you dig his music, he's going to keep making it. And he's just one of those vocalists that stuck around. And, you know, it's just unreplaceable, really. They say, oh, we can find a lot of people that's better than Shagraph who can replace him in Deepmew. Then do it. I haven't seen it. But anyways, those are my top five favorite vocalists. They always will be. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Catch you later.